What's happening guys, real quick, gonna do a video. Just got the new Surface Scanner by creating the difference and I wanna check and see how quick does a pitch black from Storm get back to lane shine? Does it get up to lane shine? How many shots do I need to throw for the Surface to go up in numbers? Because right now I just, I hit it with a 500 pan, hit it with a 500 pad uh, and it read at about a thousand right in the track area. I'm gonna check the track area, but I'll show you the reading here, check this out. So here's my pitch black. We're gonna put the surface scanner like right on my track, right here. You see it read a thousand. Let's try it again. Oops, I get it to stay still. Right at a thousand. Right at a thousand again for the second scan. So now we'll check it out. I'm gonna throw it a little bit here. It's on a used beat up lead condition. We're gonna throw it for a minute and see what it gets to. Shoulders still juked up. I kind of want to check and see what it does just on one shot. Let's take a look. Still a thousand, you can see that. Still reads at a thousand, so let's throw a few more shots. I just wanted to double check that, see what it would read at. Check it out again. See what we got. That's hard to wipe out. So now we've already gone up. Now just in those seven shots, we're now at two thousand. And it does round up. It's Is probably it somewhere in between. Now? Was that a thousand, bud? The Full game in. Let's wipe it off and check it out. It's also your uh, CTD, the BAM pad. This is probably the best towel I've seen for urethane bowling balls, and it doesn't stick to the ball. Like it's not like the leather chamois where like I feel like I have to hold it like this and kind of scrub and other otherwise it gets pulled off my hand. I hate that. So these actually do a really good job and stay on. And I don't feel like I have to put a lot of pressure on and hold on to it. Alright, let's check out the surface. Yeah, 
So some parts are reading, some parts read 3,000, the other parts mostly read 2,000. So in one game, we only went up probably less than a thousand so in actual grit. So that was a cool little experiment that I'm actually gonna do quite a bit more of. Uh, that was just a quick little test of the surface scanner to see, I wanted to see how quick that urethane ball would go up. Um, and I did scan the purple hammer. The purple hammer's at 500, uh, started at 500. So uh, at least what the scanner says. So we're gonna test a lot of different bowling balls. We're gonna do a lot of different videos about how these bowling balls change surface as we throw them. Um, and now you kind of understand why guys like Jesper and Buttruff and some of these guys have multiple purple hammers or multiple pitch blacks because the surface does change and you need, sometimes you need that ball to stay reading that front part of the lane as quick as much as possible. And if they're changing and they're getting the higher in grit like those ones are showing, then it makes your ball reaction change. It makes everything a little bit more difficult. That's where I think a lot of transition happens because bowling ball surface changes and it, it's, it's a combination of bowling ball surface changing as well as the lanes changing too. So that's what makes it very difficult. And the more stable we can make our ball, re our, our surface on our bowling balls, probably the better not stable as in all the way up to 4,700, but stable as in not changing much, uh, the better off we're gonna be able to be and the more consistent we're gonna be. So we're gonna keep testing products and keep testing things to try to figure out how to do that. So hope you all enjoyed this. Be on the lookout for some more. If you haven't, make sure to subscribe, click that join button. I'm giving away a couple of bowling balls at the US Open next week. So make sure to join the membership if you're not already joined and uh, I'll give you some details on how to enter into the drawings for that. So I'm out of here until next time. We'll see you guys later. Take care. Hey guys, if you haven't already, make sure to head over to the link in the description or the links down below. You can see some of the merchandise. We'll put a merchandise link up here for you, or maybe we'll put one like right here. I'm not really sure yet. I'll decide that when I post this video, but make sure to head over there. Get yourself some of these cool new designs for shirts. They are pretty awesome. A lot of people are enjoying them right now, um, but they are for sale up there. Helps the channel, helps to be able to create new content, helps to be able to get new cameras like we did just get a new camera with some new lenses to make the ball reviews and the footage a whole lot better, hopefully, because I'm watching some of these past videos and I'm like, man, the footage just needs to be better. So we're gonna make it better for you, the viewer. So make sure to click the link in the description or click that link that's right up there and get your shirts today, your merchandise today.